everyone, my name is Savannah, and today we got another screenshot reveal for the upcoming Arid Animal Pack coming to Planet Zoo on June 20th. And today's animal reveal was the Somali wild ass. Look how gorgeous it is. There's something so simple, but so simplistic and beautiful about this screenshot. There really is not a whole lot in terms of background or foliage or anything like that, but something about just all the little rocks on the ground, coupled with just a few kind of, not dead grasses, but you know, like brown deserty grasses. It just looks beautiful in contrast with the sky. I absolutely love it. And landscaping aside, the animal looks gorgeous as well. Again, something just really simple about the Somali wild ass and how they look is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. A lot like the Chevalsky wild horse as far as model and body style go, but I love the really short mane, the little stripes on each of the feet, there's even like that little vein, if you look at the right one on the stomach, like the details, Frontier just nailed. If you look at pictures of Somali wild ass in the wild or in captivity or wherever it is, they look just like this, all down to like the little itty bitty whiskers, if you can see them on the muzzle of that uh, horse right in the front the gradient of the dark coloration on its nose that fades into like the slight white band across the bridge of the nose upwards to the gray, little bit of light coloration around the eyes, and then that light coloration under the belly and down each leg. It's just perfect. And I don't try to be overly positive just to be overly positive. I really do think they are just great. Frontier has gotten so good at what they do and if you compare this animal with say like the okapi which was one of the original animals the difference in the design and the quality is so is so there it's so easy to see and uh it's so apparent and i hope that one day we get kind of a revamp of some of the older models and designs I don't really hold my breath for that, but it would be a, a hope for me. Now, before we end the video, as always, talking about just a little bit of information, sleek, graceful, proud, and majestic wild members of the horse family Iquidae, horses, zebras, and wild asses, have long held a strong fascination for humans. All wild asses differ from horses and zebras in their smaller size, larger ears, and tufted tail, stiff mane, and characteristically loud bray. Found in some of the most unlivable habitats of Africa and Asia, wild asses are able to eke out a living and thrive where most wildlife cannot. African wild asses are divided into two subspecies, Somali and Nubian wild asses. It is possible that only the Somali wild ass remains. Oh, I didn't know that, that the Nubian one might be extinct. All wild asses have bristly upright manes like their zebra relatives. The Somali wild asses have a soft gray body, white belly, spiky black and gray mane, and unique black and white stripes on their legs that also hint of their family connections. Their short, smooth coat has a purplish hue when the light hits it just right. Somali wild asses have to deal with extremely high temperatures. Native to the rocky deserts of eastern Africa, Somali wild asses rest under any shade that they can find until the temperature cools down in the late afternoon and evening, grazing again in the early morning hours. All wild asses are herbivores and spend their time grazing on grasses, but they'll also eat scrub, bark, and tough desert plants as well. Their upper and lower incisor teeth clip grass and other vegetation. 
molars help to grind rough food before swallowing. Somali wild asses often live alone due to the lack of food in the deserts where they are found. Small herds do exist, though, usually comprised of mares, adult females, and their offspring. Occasionally, larger groups form during the wet season when food and water are more plentiful. This is also when foals are born almost a year after mating takes place. Stallions, adult males, are often solitary, and mature stallions are known to protect territories that usually include a water source. It's good to be the only stallion around when the mares come down to the watering hole to drink. Stallions often fight each other in bitter battles that include rearing and biting, all for the right to breed with the females. The mares give birth to a foal about 11 months later. Like domestic horses, foals in the herd like to chase, neck wrestle, rear, buck, and leap. It's quite fun to watch. And that brings me to, I am very curious to see what the babies for these guys look like. In real life, babies are just little clones of their parents, still that gray coloration on their body and stripes on their legs, but they are oh so adorable. And I'm really hoping as with any animal, that we get some sort of unique animation that is unique to the Somali wild ass and isn't just a repeat of, say, what the Chevalsky's horse already has. So we'll have to keep our fingers crossed and stay tuned for that. Of course, I will cover it when it comes out. But that's all I have for you today about this beautiful new animal coming with the Arid Animal Pack on June 20th. We have about 10 days or so to go to wait to get our actual hands on this update, on this DLC. So let me know down in the comment section below. We've seen two of the eight new animals that are coming. Are these two one of your favorite or are you eagerly awaiting to see one of the other animals coming in the pack? And is this pack something that you're going to be picking up and building with? Definitely let me know down in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button as well as the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. And you can follow me on any of my other social media accounts or follow me and my Etsy store if you want to support the channel just a little bit more. Links and everything are in the description for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk at you in the next one. Bye.